Hello, my name is Annette Hanley and welcome to Active Inn. Today we are looking at active listings in the West 7th neighborhood of St. Paul. West 7th is right outside of downtown on the Mississippi River. It's diverse, historic, convenient, and comparatively affordable to the surrounding areas. I take a look at five properties within walking distance of each other and the surrounding neighborhood amenities. One is pending, two have contingent offers, and two are active. The house's age range from 20 to 140 years old and prices from 165,000 to 350,000. Our first property was built in 1881, so it's over 140 years old. This is what St. Paul looked like when the house was being built. This three bed, one bath with over 17,000 square feet has been on the market for over 70 days and is currently available for sale. Check out the link in the description for more property information. A block up is a slightly younger, smaller house for almost $125,000 less. This 1890 built, three bed, one bath with over 1,400 square feet was listed just under 193,000 and spent 30 days on market before receiving a contingent offer. Two houses away is this three bed, three bath, 1914 beauty. It was listed at 349.9 and spent only three days on market and is now pending. I head back towards the river across West 7th to a townhouse built in 2002. This three bed, two bath, 1,500 square feet unit is listed at 240,000 with a $350 monthly association due. It has been on the market for over 120 days, the longest of all today's examples. I've provided a link in the description if you are interested. This is a great opportunity for someone that maybe just moved to the area, works in downtown, or is just uninterested in shoveling. Finally, this two bed, one bath, 900 square foot was listed at 165,000 and was on the market for just over 100 days before receiving a contingent offer. It's the smallest and cheapest of all the properties, but it has the best view of the Mississippi River. Now for exploring the neighborhood. I head a couple blocks down to the Mississippi River. There's a great walking path that leads to downtown with fantastic views of the bluff, but it's right off of Shepherd's Road and noisy. It's also a bit of a game of Frogger to get across. I'm tempted to hop the fence and go exploring the cliffs, but there are signs of people living there. Exposure to people experiencing homelessness is common in this neighborhood. It's in the shadow of a large Hazleton Betty Ford Rehabilitation Center and blocks from many homeless shelters in downtown. So if you're afraid of people experiencing homelessness or addiction, this is not the neighborhood for you. I explore the Hazelton Betty Ford Clinic from a distance. It's fascinating how many different types of building are on the same property. For those that may not know, Hazelton is a world-renowned clinic that merged with Betty Ford in 2014. I head back to West 7th, which is packed with a variety of different businesses. You can also see the downtown skyline in the distance. On the corner, I see somebody standing outside of the building with the Great River logo painted on the side. According to Google, it's a video rental store. So I ask, what is this? He says, an art gallery and pottery studio. I'm also an artist that has dabbled in pottery, so I'm extremely excited. Even more excited when he, I learn that he has 10 wheels and teaches classes. However, I don't have time for a tour because I'm late for work. Please check out the description links to Great River Gallery and Pig's Eye Pottery. So what is work? Today's video sponsor, Fogelgate. Located in the West 7th Community Center, Fogelgate provides IT solutions to small businesses and nonprofits. So if you're frustrated with your technology, give Mike Shack a call. He has decades of IT experience and a unique way of making technology understandable. Focalgate is a gatekeeper to your focus so you can focus on your organization's mission, not troubleshooting technology. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Again, my name is Annette Hanley. If you're looking to buy or sell real estate in Minnesota, please give me a call.